Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today I'm going to make a little video on how to make these earrings. Sorry, apologize for the not so good of a picture. It's a little bit blurry. But when you make these, these are actually made out of maple and, and walnut. When you make it, you don't really waste any wood because this, this maple right here came out of here. This walnut right here came out of here, so I just swapped them after they cut them out. So you're making two sets of earrings at one time. Now, with that said, you could actually actually leave them open, and I'll show you that. So I'm going to just kind of run through here real quick and, and make an earring. What you're going to want to do is um, zoom in here. Whoop, I have something off the page. Let's zoom in. And let's just, we're going to use our spiral tool. Your spiral tool is underneath uh, the polygon tool normally showing. Spiral. Hold down your control button. And then just drag your spiral away. Now, if you don't hold down your control button, you get, you could get weird shapes. So if you hold down your control button, you're going to get more of a symmetrical shape. I would then at this time go ahead and rotate my spiral because I maybe want this leading edge up top. Now we're going to take our shape and we're going to go effects contour. We're going to contour this 0 0.065 of an inch. And you can play with that more or less. Then go up to arrange, break contour apart, try to click on the red line, delete it. Now that looks pretty good, but I would want these square corners have rounded corners. So grab your shape tool, click on your item, grab just those two nodes, left click, convert it to a curve, get off of it, and then bring your curve out. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Grab that node and grab your handlebar and just kind of bring them out where they, it looks more a little symmetrical. You can maybe even delete these two you don't need. Same thing here. Grab those two. Left click. Convert to curve. Bring this out a little bit. And I'm not going to take the time to use the handles, but you see what I'm doing. Now, the reason I draw in the center of the page, so I just put that in the center of the page. Now get your clips tool. Draw you a circle. Put it in the center of the page. I may be a little bit too big and hit center again. So now you've got an air ring. It's a little bit bigger than two and a quarter inches. So that might be too big, but you could play with that. Uh, you could encompass all, group it. And then you know what your outside circle is. And let's make it two inches. We'll make it a little bit bigger. Zoom back in here. Then take your other, another eclipse tool. And if you can see that note at the very top, it's calling it a quadrant. Hold down your control and your shift button. And it gives you a perfect circle from that line. I would maybe make that a little bit bigger. So let's just grab it, put it back in the center. All right, now take your, underneath your crop tool is your virtual segment delete key. Delete that line and delete that line. Now, when this thing contoured it, it contoured it in black just so you could tell the difference. So we're going to click on it. Um, oh, I, I arranged it all together. So let's ungroup it. Let's turn that to red just because I like everything in red. So I know it's a cut line. So you're, you're done. Well, you need to get you another little eclipse tool and draw and this is something you have to play with um, you know to get it you know once you get some sort of earring holder to uh, and you want this as small as possible for a couple reasons one I think it'll look better and two it'll give you more wood on the outside to make it a little bit stronger so that's something you have to really kind of play with get rid of our contour docker then let's um, let's do this Let's zoom in here and you can kind of see if this was maple and this was walnut, that's what it would look like. 
So like I said earlier, this walnut came out of the other one that's out of walnut. So you put the maple, you just reverse them. Take just a little bit of glue, just a little bitty brush and just a, I mean, just a small amount of glue as you can get, place it in there, put it on some wax paper, let it dry. Now, with that said, that would look good enough if this was just open space, if this was just a spiral. But I'm afraid it might be a little too fragile. So take your rect or your um, your rectangle tool, make you a bar about the thickness of your opening. So let's make it a little bit thicker. Put it in the center of the page. So we're a little bit short. Go like that. Now that would kind of look funny to me if um, if it was at that angle. So I would want to take it and rotate it. Maybe move it up just a hair. Now when I weld this, I'm going to lose that little my little holder hole. So encompass it all. Weld it. Put your hole back. And then this is what it's going to look like. Well, I hit the wrong line. That's what it's going to look like finished. So this is all going to be open. It's kind of a neat effect. Hope that helps a little bit. And thank you for watching.